Uh, it was a pleasant surprise for me to learn that Stacy Sims comes to us from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. I spent three wonderful years just up the road from you, Stacy, at Briarcrest Bible College. And we're going to find out that um, you did some meaningful time right there in Moose Jaw mm -hmm. at Bible College. But that's down the road in this story. Mm -hmm. You love to sing. You're working on a CD maybe next year? Yeah. Debut yeah, CD? Yeah, next year. And a book underway. Uh, you love to sing. I do. And I do. back up your uh, bebop and hip-hop and <laughs> husband. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, Philly Five. Um, we hope to see him before our time's up here. But you didn't grow up with a song in your heart, Stacy. Uh, what were some of the pressures you faced as a very young person? Oh, well, I've been through a lot growing up, um, coming from a divorced, uh, divorced parents. And it wasn't always easy not living in a Christian home. Um, my grandmother, my dad's mom, did, however, believe in Jesus and my family believing in God, but maybe not having a relationship with the Lord. It was so, fun to read that you had a cake for Jesus every Christmas. Yeah, grandma that was would, grandma's cake. Grandma would bake a cake for Jesus, and that's kind of how I got introduced. So it was really neat to see that every year. And. Um, Basically growing up, it was an unhappy time, a lot, and a lot of happy times, but a lot of sadness, not knowing, you know, where it was coming or going, it seemed, you know, going to dad's, going to mom's, um, just a lot of issues there. And I started trying to look for attention. I didn't have younger siblings at the time. They didn't come till later on. So I was kind of by myself mm -hmm. and I'd seek attention in any way possible. I would seek attention from lying, from just look at me, look at me. I just want to be loved, you know? And although dad told me he loved me all the time and, you know, my mom had a different relationship with me when I was younger. So I didn't maybe always hear it then. Mm -hmm. I hear it a lot now from her. But um, it was difficult growing up, and I spiraled into a depression and just felt so alone and, and binge eating, and, and I started drinking and experimenting with some drugs, and it was just a very lonely time. Sadly typical. Yeah, yeah. Sadly typical. Yeah. Too many of young so people, many people could tell this kind of story with mm -hmm. the fruit thereof. Yeah. Uh, grade nine, a light in the tunnel. Yeah, a girl, I met a girl, uh, Candace, actually, and she came along and said, let's go to youth group. And I said, what's youth group? You know, okay, I'll come check it out. So I went and the worship and I heard the this this music and these people just weeping and and laughing and and cry you know just being together having fun and I thought oh I felt a tug on my heart a tug on my heart and one night I just I just dropped to my knees and I accepted the Lord Jesus into my heart I mean from there on it was a battle I you know it was a battle from that that moment on because I I didn't have the guidance that you need when you accept Jesus you need the guidance in your life from other people that are believers and I didn't quite have that I was looking for this verse before uh, our segment Ephesians 4 15 speaking the truth in love we will in all things grow up into him who is the head, that is Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the idea there is there's more than one. Yeah. Uh, speaking the truth in love, encouraging one another. We will grow up, not just physically, mm -hmm. but spiritually yeah. and emotionally. And you, you just slipped into isolation. Yeah. And, and what happened in that alone place? It just, that's when I started experimenting with uh, alcohol and some drugs and just seeking for love in all the wrong places, like so many women or, or young girls do, you know, and it just got to the point where I just thought I couldn't handle it anymore and I wanted an out. So I did actually get to the point of that cry for help and I, I had some pills that I was on for anxiety and I took them and I landed up in the hospital 
You, you on were this, trying to take your I life. I was trying to take my life because I thought there was just nothing more and God had even though I I knew who he was, I just didn't think he really truly forgave me and loved me. Mm. So I I just couldn't take it and 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 I'm so blessed that the Lord spared me that day. And who was the first person to visit you? The first person was the same girl that, that took, had, to took me to the youth group. She was there with her Bible, you know, and that just really showed something to me.